Hello Virgo, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, it's Val 53 Tarot, she'll read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> For some reason, the message of um, don't think too hard, Virgo. Don't think too hard. It's almost like if you think too much or too hard, um, it kind of prevents energy from moving. It prevents flow. It prevents quite a bit. Um, it's kind of like your your mind or your thoughts gets locked up, and it kind of just gets stuck in place. One more. And there it is, Virgo. Okay. And that's what I thought. Um, it almost feels like you're running on a treadmill, energetically speaking. Um, I always thought that was interesting. The differences on running on a treadmill or going outside to take a walk. Um, completely big difference. Definitely big difference. Um, I suppose that's a fitness tip. But jumping into this, what you do show me. You are definitely all about trying to figure out which direction you want to go and how you want to kind of proceed and move forward with something, which I do see that there are quite a bit of problems and issues and difficulties here showing up. Now, whatever these are, I do see that you are definitely trusting yourself, even though this is something you truly don't want to walk away from. Um, but what's fascinating is you choosing to trust yourself. You're saying, yes, these issues might be taking place. They might be going on. I don't know what to think about it, but you're actually showing up. This is fascinating. Um, you're showing up like, um, that doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> You're actually quite happy and fulfilled because there is some sort of moment here of an inspiration or an idea. But what's fascinating to me is whatever this idea or moment of inspiration is, you are a little bit impatient with it. It's almost like a little bit like sporadic, uh, wanting to move forward. But at the same time, it's like, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, do I, don't I. And you're kind of doing like this little step forward, step back, step forward, step back. And ultimately, during this process of trying to figure this out, there is this also study research looking into things trying to kind of formulate or figure out what you truly want to do emotionally um, there's a little bit of daydreamy fantasizing energy taking place that i do see that is leading to some sort of desire to take action i'm not too sure if this is you towards someone but i kind of feel like it is because there is some type of communication here between the two of you taking place now that being said or quite possibly you have multiple suitors or people after you in a sense. Ooh, okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Not too sure what that's about. Um, possibly. We'll see through the clarifiers. But ultimately, after this communication, I do see there is a lot of energy here about either one, overworking yourself. And as I stated with the message, overworking yourself and not getting very far, if anywhere at all. Unfortunately, you're showing me I have the mindset of wanting to move forward. At the same time, you almost feel a little bit blocked. Like nothing's working, nothing's happening or taking place. Okay, or it's just an energy of there is communication here between you and someone. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to go into work today. I need a day for myself. Either or, we'll see. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. 
and see what we can see. Fascinating. By the way, it is much better to go for a walk outside than it is to go on a walk on a treadmill, but just saying. Just saying. Just saying, Virgo. Just saying. It's important to stay healthy. It's important to stay active. Ooh, yeah, I feel like there could be some sort of new love here between you and someone. Oh, you're, you're kind of saying, will there be new love? Will there be love? Ooh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Yep. The, okay. Huh. I feel like you're wanting to do something for love or out of love, more so specifically. You're doing something for love. Either one, you do what you love, or you're doing something for the sake of love. It's like to give love. Okay, that's nice. Really nice energy. So even though there are problems and issues here, which I do feel is possibly regarding problems and issues regarding investments, finances, situations of that sort, you're still showing up in very nice energy here. Um, you're saying, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> in fact, you are actually gaining more control of yourself. It's almost like it has, how do I say this? solidified your mindset to remain focused on some sort of goal or some type of direction regarding your work, your finances, your investments, something of that sort. It has solidified. Yeah. Solidified. This is a nice Virgo. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Um, making some changes making you're you're all oh geez you're saying i am all about making changes whether it be improvements or some sort of changes here um and this is what's fascinating is even though change 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 yes it can be a slightly disrupting but it can also in a sense someone's kind of like saying it could also be necessary but that's what's fascinating is you yourself, Virgo, are going through some sort of change or spiritual transformation yourself before things around you are beginning to change. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. goes hand in hand. You work on yourself. What you work on changes right along there with you. Absolutely. And there's your confirmation. So I'm a little curious as to what the little bit of the impatience is about, but... Okay, you're you're <laughs> you're waiting. Jeez, you're waiting to see the. Oh my goodness, Virgo, you are. This is fascinating. This is fascinating. You have a what's this called? A method to your madness, Virgo. You have a method to your madness, and now I kind of get the sense and energy and idea of who I'm actually tapping into. Um, ultimately, with whatever this change is that you're going through, you feel like there's got to be some sort of financial security or abundance on the other side of this. Okay. Fascinating though. So kind of like what you're saying is after everything is said and done, again, will there be love here? It's like, that's fascinating. You're showing me that you're happy and fulfilled. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But are you though? Mm. that's fascinating you're, you're kind of saying like there's much to be straightened out there's much to be cleaned up but after all is said and done there will be like greater perspective okay that's fascinating, though. Then, then what's with the daydreaming? What's like with the fantasizing, Virgo? What's with the fantasizing? Ooh. 
like I said, I knew what energy I was tapping into today. Um, that's that's exactly what I thought about. Um, you're showing me fantasizing, yes. You're trying to play it cool, but at the same time, you're also saying like, hmm, 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 hmm. This energy of fantasizing, I'm not too sure what this is about. It almost feels like a momentary thing. A momentary thing. Because you're showing me, it's like, well, um, I'm kind of choosing to remain in place and trying to stay in ground and trying to kind of keep my cool. But actually, um, I don't actually have any emotional energy to give or invest. You're actually choosing to stay in some place that you have no love for. And I'm not too sure what that's about. That's fascinating. Yes, and that's exactly what I thought. That's what I thought. There is that three of swords, Virgo. Like I said, I, I'm i not too sure what this is about. Um, but ultimately what you're saying is there, there's some sort of action here you want to take for the sake of success or status or some type of accomplishment. Um, and that's what's very fascinating is it's almost like, Virgo, you're meant to be going through this very... You're meant to be going through this very challenging and testing time. It's almost like you're going through your own tribulations, Virgo. You're going through your own tribulations. But you also are showing me it's for financial reasons and security. Whatever this is, though, um, there's definitely some sort of pain or heartbreak here that is not necessarily something you're wanting to address or acknowledge fully. And that lets me know right there. It's like, are you doing it for all the right reasons, Virgo? Are you or are you not? Like I said, you're showing me, it's like, will there be love or self-love at the end of all this? And it's like, well, then why are you doing it? Ooh. That's what I thought. And as I had just stated, I recognized and sensed this energy. Um... It's for money reasons. It's for money reasons. It's not for love. It's for money. It's for because there's financial security here and difficulties. And like I said, you're, you're saying I'm not going anywhere. There's problems. Um, but whatever this communication is between you and someone, it's definitely uplifting your spirit. At the same time, it's kind of like your grasp on finances are with the death grip. And I feel like that's why you're in a sense overworking yourself. It's like, um, I'm doing this for self-love. I'm doing this because I love myself. And then it's like, this is that energy of the, what's it called? The martyr. Self-sacrifice. Ah, okay. That is a subject for another time, Virgo. Um, it's kind of like saying, I'm going to do this, 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 and this, and this for them in hopes that they will love me in return. I'm going to go above and beyond for them so that they can look at me as if I'm someone that's like, uh, you know, like I'm glowing or something. So that I'm the you-know-what. Fill in the blank, Virgo. I know you're smart enough. All of you are. You're very analytical, as am I. But again, to, to overwork yourself and give, 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 and give, are they, in a sense, exchanging anything of equal value? Whether it be, I'm not going to go into a list, but of anything, really. Because you're showing me work, 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 work. You're on a treadmill jogging in place, and you're not getting very far. And it's like, there you are, Virgo. There you are. Now, what's fascinating about this is it's like, um, there is some sort of collaborative energy here in consideration. And I feel like that's because your work, 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 and nothing's actually taking place or progressing or moving forward. And so it's like, do I really need to collaborate with others around me? You're kind of saying, Virgo, I'm trying to tackle this all on myself. As I'm hearing a car horn outside, just laying on the horn. It's like, stop, stop. It's like, know when to stop. Know when to... Take a step back and see what people are giving in exchange. That's how energy flows. It's a back and forth exchange here. And that's what's fascinating is you're showing me like, hmm, 
do I need to reach out to someone for help? And it's like, well, possibly, possibly, or it's just an energy of just stop, Virgo, just stop. Because again, if this is all out of this, in a sense, for love, why does it seem like um, you're not finding love in any of these options for some type of financial endeavor? And that's why it feels like you're not progressing because it's it's for the wrong reasons. It's for the wrong reasons. You're saying it's out of love, but it's it's for money. Oh, goodness gracious. I get it, Virgo. I do. Um, you kind of, yeah, you, you hopped in your fills. That makes sense. And that's what's very fascinating is that you're kind of like saying, well, I'm not thinking about moving forward yet. And I'm not too sure what this is about because you're actually showing me there's two people here. And it's like, is this in consideration of who you possibly are considering wanting to collaborate with? Two completely opposite different energies, by the way. It's like, well, one is this way, one is that way. And that's what's very fascinating is it's like, there is no movement. It's just, well, everything is kind of put on pause. With Leo on top of the deck with that strength card. It's all about self-control. It's all about self-control. Um... And part of that is knowing what you can control and what you can't control. Sometimes the hardest part is to control oneself. I get that. I do. Then sometimes it's difficult to control others, which you can't do. But I do see you are figuring it out. Because I do see that even though there's this energy of, oh, it's kind of like this emotional shock of like, hmm, there you are. Um, I feel like it's when you get off that treadmill... You stop, you breathe, you tap into yourself and you become very self-aware and you go, what am I actually truly running from? And you have that self-awareness as you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, you know what? What do I need to do now moving forward to change my life, my life for the better? So of course, Virgo, I'm not sure if you are, but if you are dealing with anyone, we do have showing up. You, Virgo. Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and that's it. Goodbye.